Well, my husband had just joined the war in 1941. And we had been to the pictures that day. And my mother had said, we just lived on the Shankill Road. My mother said to me, well, you know, you just hadn't everything in the house. So she said to me, why don't you go to the top of the street there and get fish and chips for Bill and you? And when we went there and the sirens went, and that was the very first night of the Blitz. What age were you then? 19. I wasn't, wasn't, I wasn't married at the time. 19. And um, I had, we had just got into the house and you had what it called a sofa, not a, not a you know, not what I mean, one headed sofa. And we had to get Bill. When we heard the sirens would just come on down and my he wasn't my husband, my boyfriend then moved the sofa and got my invalid sister behind it. And somebody else, who else was ever in the house got onto the, the table. And the next thing we had the we had our backyard all covered over with glass because for to let my invalid sister go to the toilet. And the next thing, all oh, that come down, that come down. That was the night that Percy Street was bombed, and all those I don't know how many people were killed. But it's at least at least sixty, and we knew those people. And you know that was Dover Street, that was Westmoreland Street, and that's where um, my husband lived, and. His brother come and knocked knocked our door, and said, "Billy, you'd have to come." He shouldn't he, Bill, my husband, shouldn't have been out of his uniform. At that time, he was only in Hollywood before he was sent away. And um, anyway, um, Stevie come down. He says, "Billy, we have no house. Our house is all bombed, because they lived in Westmoreland Street, just above Percy Street. So they were." They were all born. The funny thing is, his mother had just got a new suite and everything was just all glass and everything. And I always remember the minister out of town, Saint Street, he was he turned out then to be a chaplain, uh, you know, and he was in the middle of Westmoreland Street. And all the people there, they, they, they were the people that ran into the air raid shelter. And they were the ones that was killed. Bill's mother's house and his aunt's house, just beside the mother's, was all blitz completely. I think that was the first, that was one of the first bad ones. You might have heard the sirens before, but that was the, the bad ones. Well, my mother had to take my sister away then to the country, and that left me. So Bill had a, an aunt that wasn't married, so her and I would have stayed in Dover Street. And, but her sister said, if, I, if the sirens go again, you come up to us. And I remember, and this is the God's truth, I remember running up the Shankill Road when there was another bomb, I, it was at a Tuesday night, and that German, that German plane just come across the Shank, and he actually looked at, I actually looked at him, flat flush, and I just lay flat on the Shankill Road. And I had to get from the, up to Ainsworth Street, up to Ainsworth Avenue, because that's where uh, Bill's mother lived, and I, I had nobody else, you see. So we're all huddled there in what you call the coal house. And I don't know how many of us were in dog and all. It was an awful time, yeah. really, really an awful time. It was awful. And my father was in the army at the time, too. My father was a prisoner in the First World War and was in the Second World War. And he, that night, alone that night, he was on top of the gas works, uh, you know, fire watching. And my two brothers were away. My, sisters, my sister was in the Air Force. And you know, you were just, my mother, everybody was away. It was just, just an awful, awful time. You know, I was only young, mm -hmm. 19. But to this day, I think of that plane going over. And just for that split second, I saw that plane looking. That wasn't looking, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I lay flat on the ground. That was the night 
Heather Street was bombed. Heather Street was away uh, at the uh, on the Crumlin Road. It was bombed that night, and the whole, the, the Newton Arch Road on the opposite side. Like it was really, it was a shocking, shocking time. Mm. Like anybody that lived through the Blitz would never ever, mm. would never ever forget it.